Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin and this is migrating from Flash to Toon Boom. And in this video we're going to be talking about everyone's favourite feature in Flash, the library. Now this will be a quicker one, there's not too much to talk about with the library, it works pretty much the same way. It stores things, it brings them back out again. Uh, but what are some cool things to keep in mind? Well, first of all is you don't need it as much. I don't use the library very often day to day anymore. Uh, because of the peg structure. When you think about it in Flash, when um, because almost every single thing you make will become a symbol at some point just for managing your layers and all of your content, everything goes into the library whether you need it to or not. So it always becomes very full. Uh, so here the library can be used for what it's intended to be, storing stuff that's going to be used over and over again. Uh, now notice there's a couple of folders here. The symbols one, uh, is the one that works exactly the same as Flash. Everything that you make into a symbol will end up in here and you know you can drag it out and use it as you'd expect. Uh, underneath you got the stage library. It has a little picture, that's a picture of a padlock if you look closely. Um, it won't actually let you put anything into it until you right click and go right to modify and you can put literally anything in here. It can be um, imported reference material, any layers in here. So if I grab straw budgies layer and drag it over there it is, I can name it, press OK. Um, the cool thing about the stage library as opposed to the symbols one is the stage library is universal. Uh, this here will appear in every single Toon Boom file I make, which is great if you're making a larger project. If that sounds a bit chaotic to you, that's all right, because down here, you know, new folder, you can manage folders and create a whole heap of them and separate them by project. All very good. The other thing that's different is the preview window. It's got this slider at the bottom. Now, if you have keyframe caddy in, in Flash, which you should, <laughs> that thing will show visible thumbnails of every frame in a layer. Uh, so you can manage it, especially for things like lip syncing. That's what this slider is here. So it will show every cell on a layer, not every individual frame, but every time a new drawing is used, it will appear here. So if I slide it across, you can see we've got palette swapped one, one with a human stick head, and one that is far too classy for anyone to handle. Uh, so this thing makes lip syncing a breeze and it's built in uh, right away. Um, there's even an automatic lip syncing tool, uh, which I'll probably show off one day. Um, but yeah, that's the library. That's all you should need to know. If there's anything that you wanna know more about, throw down a comment.